้องไปต่อท่านต้องเลือกก้าวไกลอีกผมมาหาพี่น้องชาวบบินเอสไทยแลนด์ is expecting to hold a general election within May this year a lot of people are asking the question what will happen to Thailand after the election And about the election outcome, will Thai politics still remain as chaotic as before, or will it make some changes to Thai politics for a better future of all Thai people? Let's talk to our guest today, Dr. Amon Wanit Wiwat, political science lecturer of Chulalongkorn University. สวัสดีครับดรอมรสวัสดีครับคุณดาวและ and the audience. Thank you very much for coming to Voice of the Nation. It's my pleasure. Very soon. We will have a general election within May. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> Hopefully. What do you think is the most exciting thing that is going to happen in Thai politics this year? Yet I I must have to tell the audience that we r e going to to have new cabinet members and also the the member of the parliament and most importantly is the prime minister too, because Kun Payut. No longer prolong his career right now, okay. because he have to finish, and I suggest that he must dissolve the parliament before the general election was announced, and should be in February or the early of March, for example. That the scenario that I could see right now. But yeah. uh, for this general election, we have a lot of interesting and potential candidate for prime minister. Uh, do you think that uh, uh, some of them are uh, has a high possibility to win the election? Uh, yeah, uh, all of them are my friends. I would say that because I know them for such a long time, and I I have to say also that most of them have quite a good potential to be our leadership in the future. For example, Kun Pat Hong Tan or Kun Ung Ying is one of my students. Uh, 20 years ago, when I still I'm still lecturer, like you said earlier, and I'm still teaching at u l a l u n g o n University, and she was one of my one one of my advisee, and Kun Chat Chat no Kun Chat Chat is our our governor yes. <laughs> right now. He's no Bangkok. longer running for the He's prime no minister. Longer, yeah, <laughs> but someone want him to be our candidate for for some reason, and. Who, who else? For example, Kun Nu, Kun Anutin, p u m c h a i Thai leader. He also one of my friend. I know him since he was very young age, a teenager, and he one of my colleague as well because I'm uh, an NDC member. You you possibly know uh, the National Defense uh, College in Thai. We call it War Po or w i t h i l a i p o n g k a l a c h a n a j a He one of my Colleagues, he he study. Um, I mean, follow me for like two or three years later on, and the other potential could be k a o k a i or or Kun ma- Pita from k a o k a i Yeah, Kun Pita, Kun Kun uh, Kun g o n j a t i k a w a n i t Kun Sudarat, for example. I know every one of them for sure, and I I don't mind if Kun Sudarat, Kun Kla, Kun. Uh, Go on, c h a t i k a w a n i t or Kun Pita uh, will be chosen as our leadership. Okay. Everyone is okay for me. So the yeah. the campaign for the election is going to be very competitive. Yeah. Are you expecting? Yeah, I I think so because we have a lot of millionaire, billionaire, multi billionaire right now in Thailand. Uh, you possibly forecast that in the really coming future. I think Forbes or some magazine, international magazine, uh, rate us as the third country that most people in the world want to come here for, like the retirement yes. destination, whatever. So Thailand is really popular among international forum, and I would expect that no matter uh, any one of them could be our leadership could. Push to any obstacle that still stand in the way that we move forward right now. Okay, and for this coming election, 
uh, is there anything that is different from any other election that we had before in terms of rules and regulations? Kudao and the audience, I must say that when I was a commissioner in the drafting the CDC Constitu Constitutional Drafting Committee, I, I have proposed a lot of things. For example, we have to, to make sure that we have, uh, sit, uh, we have to create the political party as the institution for people to, to learn the political uh, agenda and yes. also many other things uh, that we have faced in the past. And many object and not agree with my proposal, but at the end of the day, they agree at the point that we should have to ballot cheat. To, uh, we have ballot cheat, yes, but some disagree with that. Some say that to ballot cheat is go, like go back in the past. Yes. And everything not changed. When we redraft the constitution, we should do something new. And at the end, Kun Mi Chai, the, the, the president who preside over the committee, uh, suggest that why don't we just use only one ballot? And we keep going with the one ballot sheet for about a few years. Okay. Then the lawmaker have changed. And we're waiting for the election decree, which I think had already launched by the EC committee. And in this election, we're going to have only one ballot, uh, only two ballots. Uh, it's different from the past that we have only one yes. and solid. Uh, so we have to move on with the two ballots, like before years, uh, I mean, go back like 10 or 20 years ago. So this could be something that uh, the audience have to face in the general election. And the, the problem with the two ballots, because the, the aim or the purpose of the CDC, when we apply only one ballot, because we, we want the political uh, party, you have to choose the right person for people to choose. And also, you have to make sure that your party really popular among the population or among the, the I, I would say, the, uh, the people yes. who have right to choose. That's the meaning of one ballot sheet. But if you change from one ballot to two ballot, so the, the objective that we create earlier will be collapsed, all okay. of them will be collapsed. So we have to expect that you can choose whatever you like Whatever party you, you love, whatever uh, whoever you love, ho whoever you want to be your representative. So this is one major change in the in the general election, which coming in May. That what you say? Yes, within May. Within May. Yes. For example. So two ballot actually is a uh, more confusing. Okay. Yeah, I I quite agree, and also. Uh, at the early day that we discussed about the two ballot, we, we also suggest that it could be something that make people uh, like a dumb, dumb yes. ballot and also it makes things chaotic and also it doesn't represent or respond to the, the main idea or the main perspective of our constitution. That's the thing that I I agree with you, Kundal. Okay, and yeah. one more thing that people worry in every election is vote buying. Okay. Especially if this election is going to be very competitive, do you expect to see more vote buying in this election? Yeah, I, I agree because the rigging or the vote buying in, not, not in Thailand only, in every country, it happens all the time. Uh, if you are the, the forerunner, for example, yes. the forerunner, someone might want to kill you or get you out of the race and try to put someone else that he won the same seat. That's what the competition is all about. And also, I agree that 
when we have to develop the the food through or the thing that we get into the benefit of the country and also the people alike it's not be the same thing as it happened before i i must say that the two ballot will change thing around it will change the the face of the politics in thailand because i i ha this is not my verbose or exaggeration, but when we apply the, the, the one ballot sheet, many countries uh, try to interview me. I mean, the representative like ambassador or con consular or whatever, they try to ask me for some idea or some knowledge why Thailand apply only one ballot, like Mexico, like German in some uh, region, for example. Okay. Okay. And uh, after this election, uh, whatever the result will be, do you think that Thailand will be in more chaotic or will be more in order? Yes. I'm not trying to pretend to be uh, a kind of horajan like in Thailand or the 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 foreseer, fortune teller yes. that you like, and uh, but but I. I see something not really different from them, and also Kundao as well, that, Kund that Kundao mentioned about the chaotic. I expect some chaotic, because if Kun Prayut not win in this coming election, because if he don't want or I, I want to quit, I, it's no more prime minister. He, he will be no longer to apply as the membership of the new party. but. If he still go on like this, that means he wants to become the next prime minister. But the problem of Kun Payut is he only have two years more. But uh, the tenure of the prime minister of Thailand is four years. Who will be the substitution for Kun Payut? That would be the problem, the first problem. If we have one, only one person and he is the most suitable, everything is clear. It's well enough that everything will move on, keep going like that. But if we have more than one people, the fighting will move on again. Okay. Yes. And this makes Thai society and Thai people are very divided about which, uh, which political party they supported. Do you see that it's a problem amongst people also? Yeah, uh, we have already divided for years and years time and time again we we no longer want this and as a co as a constitution drafter um, um, I accept this job uh, the person who called me is Kun Wisanukleng um, he asked me whether I want to accept this particular assignment I said why not it, it, it the per it's the opportunity the great opportunity that I can contribute to my country I totally accept the, uh, that, and among 21st or this is the 21st century, and we have 21 people all together. I guarantee to Kundal and the audience that the CDC member, no, not any one of them have any kind of malice mind or bad agenda okay. to 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 make things worse and worse. We want to make Thailand better and better, for sure. Okay, and uh, one thing that I see changes in Thai politics in the past few years is that we see new faces and younger people enter politics. Do you feel hopeful to see younger people enter politics in Thailand? Yeah, really lovely question because as a professor, I have many students at the young, really young age I always ask them that, uh, for example, Kunda, what you, uh, how old are you? Yes. Yeah. Many respond to me that <laughs> they they kind of millennial. Okay. You know that. Yes. <laughs> millennial is the time that I finish my doctoral degree, and that kind of twenty years ago. Okay. So I, uh, it, it's kind of like look like my son or my cousin. I ask them, what do you think about Thai future? I must say that many students, many young age or teenager, is our hopeful future. So I, I have a lot of my hope wholeheartedly to all of them. 
uh, the way that I talk, the way that I discuss with them, is not like many dinosaur, uh, whatever you mention, the 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 own people, some some of them that mention about student that they're not good enough, they're not well enough. I don't I disagree with that. Okay. Yes. And uh, for the election, because the majority of Thai people are living in the rural area. Do you think that uh, most of the uh, political party going their campaign going to put a lot of attention to the rural people in Thailand rather than the city people? A hundred percent that you mentioned is correct because the rural people is the main ballot or the yes. main vote that you can get all around the country. If you don't care, or I don't mind what you day of living look like or, or how what you want is you go to to see to see the monk to see your village yes. chief for example you can lose for sure if you don't care village, village or the people from rural area and but you have to pay attention to Bakongkian people in the capital city as well the young young people the first water people who get to vote for the first time also very important uh, yeah. for the campaigner. The way that, uh, for example, Gao Gai at the yes. present that can keep going as the f kind of illumination future or whatever, like they, they mentioned their party name. And I have to tell everyone that it's because of our constitution. Uh, at the time, we draft the constitution, we think about the young age people like the one who reached the 18 years old for the first time, what we will do with them and what their future look like in the next 20, 30 years, we have all died. I, I, no, I, I, didn't, uh, I, I didn't try to uh, kind of, uh, I mean, condemn anyone, but people like me, the next 30 years is 90. Okay. So how we live 90 or what we expect from people at 90, I don't know. But we have people at the young age who at the 18 years old, another 10, another 30 years, he or she will the same age as Kundao and my possibly. You might be a lot younger than me, but I think everyone will be at the maximum capacity to put the country to the top of the world. So we expect every one of them to become our resource person that can push through every agenda that we wait and see right now, like corruption, eradication. We, w we no longer want military to rule our country. They, they can rule, but they have to come in the process yes. of the general election that we expect for some years ago. And we keep going with this expectation. Okay, yeah. and lots of people are losing hope in Thai politics yes. because of all the corruption and scandals. Do you think that this can ever be changed and how? For sure, one day for sure. Because some country, for example, like China, the mainland China, you can see is, uh, Mr. the C or the presidency, he did a lot. And I, I love him. He took corruption very seriously. Yeah, he, 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 he took them everything, not only corruption. And he made them everything seriously. And he achieved and he can put the country. People don't ask any question why the president, you want to go on another three year, another term, for example. So he will be completed his 12 years in the next four years from now. But in Thailand, people said, why our prime minister still be, still be in, in, in his career right yes. now? He no longer quits or he will keep going for another decade or what? That, that, what, that is the problem with Thai policy. In, in other countries, if leaders or politicians in the party has uh, fell under the scandal or made some bad move, they came out and apologized and resize yeah. at a show of responsibility. Understood. But, but in Thailand, they just like keep quiet 
hope. Maybe silent is golden. It's like a song, like yes. uh, the proverb that many people are saying that. And Thai people, one thing for sure, it our, our culture. You you look into the Lolly Planet magazine or, or the 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 Thai, uh, the Thai tour, for example. They mention the culture shock of Thailand in many aspects, and the thing you mentioned is also one of them, one of their culture shock. They they didn't expect that. Why? If you have problem, to have you have to resolve. You have to eradicate it you once and out. for all. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why, why you have to keep silent for the country? It's not good. It's not. It's not good mood, and it it should be something that we have to rethink or review our culture once again. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as a political science lecturer, yes. have you ever get bored? Get bored about Thai politics? Boring, boring. You can mention that. <laughs> <Yes>. Everyone <laughs> say that. So I, I, I must say that it's really um, shameful for many people that I met, for particularly in the national uh, Thai representative. Like Sometimes they come to meet me. Ajahnamon, why you keep uh, get salary like uh, I only receive about uh, forty thousand baht per month? For ch- I, I I didn't try to say anything like that. Among many top of class of my friend, I mean top class, they they got more than one million baht per yes. month because some of my friends study with me, they decline. The, fu- the, f- the funding from the government, and they go to work with, I, I don't mention. Private company. Private company, but not ordinarily private company. Okay. But for example, like G4 or yes. G4, for example. These company are the company that uh, deal with rapidly, for example. So they move around the world uh, from one place to another every month that I call them, where are you, my friend? He said, or oh, I'm in Paris right now, for example. Mm-hmm. Okay. But but I choose to come back to Thailand. But unfortunately, politics is not good for me during the past four or five years ago. So I have to keep quiet. But now I declare in your program right now that I will no longer keep quiet. If I can help the next party or the next uh, government in in whatsoever party, whatever duty, I immediately do that. Okay, for sure. And that is very important because yes. uh, politics <laughs> involved and affected everyone in Thailand. Every one of you, every one of you. Yes. Our audience. Okay. Yes. And thank you very much, Dr. Amon, for coming and talking with us today. Thank you very much, Kun Dao and the audience. See you again. Thank you.